Hey, welcome back everyone, Mike Zero here once again, coming at you with a brief video involving Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi. Now, if you guys are new here to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, moving on to today's subject, it has to do with the Knights of Ren origins. Now, when we're looking at Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi, it has been said multiple times that this film will be very flashback heavy. And what I mean by that essentially is two to three flashbacks, most likely two, telling two sides of the story here. One through Luke and Rey, one through Kylo and Snoke. And when it comes to Kylo and Snoke, I believe in whatever format it's going to be, a forceback vision sequence, a dream, who knows, it's going to tell us the origins of the Knights of Ren. And I have so many different questions. My top question here is, when did they become the Knights of Ren? What was their first mission? And that's the most important thing here. What was their first mission? And I have strong beliefs here that that was to take down Luke Skywalker's attempt at rebuilding a Jedi Order and to kill all of his students, including Luke Skywalker, which would be Kylo Ren's job. Now, how cool and amazing would it be if we had a scene, because we do know that Ryan Johnson is a very dark person, in the downpouring rain, lightning, roaring thunder, and we have the Knights of Ren with lightsabers this time instead of just axes and spears. We have Kylo Ren with his cross guard, and they team up against Luke Skywalker and his Jedi students, which would have lightsabers. And that is another question as well, is, did Luke Skywalker's students have lightsabers? It's an interesting question now, isn't it? It really is. That is one of my biggest questions when it comes to Episode Eight: The Last Jedi. Whoever Luke Skywalker was training at the time, did they receive lightsabers, and were they all the same? Did they consist of different colors? Were they all the same types of lightsabers? Were they all single blades? Were some of them double blades? I think it would be so cool for Ryan Johnson to approach Episode Eight and just take one thing from the prequels that I think many would like, is to have a lightsaber duel that consisted of more than two individuals, than more than two people, essentially. I would love to see like eight, twelve people battling, and you'd have the Knights of Ren going up against Luke Skywalker's students, and obviously the Knights of Ren demolish them. And you have Kylo Ren combating against Luke Skywalker, and somehow, some way, Kylo Ren gets away and he leaves with the Knights of Ren, maybe Luke Skywalker gets injured, maybe Luke... who knows what happens to Luke, maybe he tries to save somebody, maybe there's a different backstory for someone that we don't know yet, and Luke essentially retreats to save that certain somebody, and that's how Kylo Ren gets away. Who knows? I think there's going to be a lot to tell when it comes to the flashback sequences in Star Wars Episode Eight because we do know that they are coming because J.J. Abrams said, and he lightly confirmed the Knights of Ren origins on the collector's edition of The Force Awakens Blu-ray. He did say that they are saving the Knights of Ren backstory for later. Later. Backstory. Backstory would equal a flashback, and they didn't want to play with this in The Force Awakens, as J.J. said, because they were saving it for later. Now, I believe he's not pointing that to Episode 9, this is all pointing to Episode 8. So guys, in conclusion here, I think we're going to see something very cool in the flashback scenes when it comes to the Knights of Ren's backstory. So guys, drop a comment below, let me know what you think about all of this, if you did enjoy the content for today. Do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars related videos. And lastly, make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. Thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys later.